The Xi'an Y-20 Kanpeng is a large military transport aircraft that was developed by the Xi'an Aircraft Industrial Corporation for the People's Republic of China. Capability-wise, the Y-20 is similar to the U.S. military's workhorse C-17, which has been a game-changer in transporting troops and cargo worldwide since its induction in 1995. Since its induction into the service, the Y-20's versatility has helped the PLA Air Force quickly mobilize large forces and cargo, with its payload capacity of 73 short tons. The Y-20's payload capacity makes it easy to transport China's biggest tank, the ZTZ-99, along with other vehicles and supplies. With Russian engines, the Chubby Girl has a range of 4,850 miles, while carrying 40 tons of cargo and 2,800 miles when fully laden. The older version of the Y-20 lacked the ability to take off from hot and high airfields, while the USC-17 could. Taking off from hot and high airfields can seriously affect the performance of all aircraft. The images of the re-engined aircraft, redesignated as Y-20B, were released on the Chinese social media site Weibo in December 2023. They show four Shenyang WS-20 engines replacing the Solovy FD-30KP2s that powered the earlier version. Along with the hot and high capability, the WS-20 turbofan engine will give the chubby girl short takeoff capabilities and enhanced range. In addition to functioning as a transport, the Y-20 could be outfitted as a refueling tanker for other military aircraft or used as a strategic command center to coordinate fighter jets and drones in combat. The aircraft will increase the PLA Air Force's aerial combat reach over the South China Sea. Its fighter jets can spend more time airborne and stake sovereign claims over large swathes of the South China Sea. Dubbed a plane from China that the US truly fears, Y-20 would augment the Chinese military's amphibious attack capability as well. Apart from delivering reinforcements to the ground troops in an amphibious landing area, it could enable fighter aircraft to attack to gain air superiority. The multi-role transport aircraft has been the latest export offering by the Chinese defense industry. The Y-20E export version, powered by four Shenyang WS-20, has made China a third country after Russia and the US to design and develop its heavy military transport aircraft. Unlike the previous Russian engines powering the variants of Y-20, the new engines will give it far superior endurance and air refueling capability that will increase its reach beyond the first island chain, a string of islands encumbering the seas around China. The high-profile Chinese presence at the Egypt International Air Show also reflects China's ambition to increase its defense exports to the Middle East and North Africa. The Y-20 served as a support aircraft for aerobatic team, but was also displayed at the Egypt International Air Show at Al Alamein. Most of the region's countries have been seeing China as an alternative to the Western source of weapons. China is already the largest arms supplier for sub-Saharan Africa taking a 19% share of the market in 2019-2023, narrowly overtaking Russia with 17%. Media reports suggest that Egypt is interested in buying 12 J-10C fighters in 2022-2023 and might now be interested in the Y-20B. In August, a Y-20 transported Chinese troops to Tanzania for a counter-terrorism drill. The long-distance deployment showcased PLA Air Force mobility capabilities. It is in sync with the PLA Air Force's ambition to project power beyond its borders. It should be noted that in order to prevent unknown risks, the Y-20 will always carry missiles for cross-border delivery. The Y-20 is officially called Kanpeng after a mythical Chinese bird and nicknamed Chubby Girl for its appearance. It debuted at the Dubai Air Show in December 2023. Media reports suggest that it is the largest military aircraft currently in production, and Beijing recently offered it to Nigeria. The biggest advantage PLA Air Force has is that, unlike the US Air Force's KC-46 tanker, which is a different aircraft than C-130s, the Y-20 can be easily configured for different roles. When required, the Y-20 aircraft can be fitted as an airborne early warning and control version. The new engines will give the Chinese Air Force the capability to carry out offensive missions across continents. A capability imperative as it creates a network of overseas military bases to match the US. The latest variant of China's Y-20 cargo aircraft, the Y-20B has been spotted at a People's Liberation Army Air Force airbase, signaling its possible induction into service. 
A set of satellite images dated November 29 obtained by James shows 5Y20B and 18Y20A at the Kaifeng Air Base in the east-central Henan region of China. The base falls under the PLA's Central Theatre Command and is home to the 37th Air Regiment of the PLA Air Force. Moreover, several claims about the aircraft's induction into the PLA Air Force have surfaced on social media in the past year. The Y-20B is the new variant of China's Y-20 transport aircraft, powered by the locally produced WS-20 high-bypass turbofan engine. The WS-20, designed by Shenyang Engine Design Institute, is anticipated to generate approximately 31,000 pounds of thrust, significantly more than the 26,450 pounds produced by the D-30 KP-2s. Notably, the development and now possible induction of the aircraft point toward a massive modernization program undertaken by China to indigenize its aircraft. Today, both Russia and Ukraine have lost their ability to develop heavy transport aircraft, and the Antonov-225 and all existing Antonov-124s are already hard to reproduce Soviet heritage. Turkey had hoped to order a batch of Antonov-124s from Ukraine, but Ukraine refused. It's not that Ukraine doesn't want to sell it, but it really can't make it. As for Russia, the few remaining Antonov-124s have been regarded as treasures by Russia and are absolutely unaffordable to lose. But after all, these planes have tended to age, and sooner or later they will retire. In order to replace the Antonov-124, Russia has begun to develop a new generation of strategic transport aircraft code named Elephant. But with the level of Russia's aviation industry, it is still unknown whether this aircraft can really meet everyone. After the disintegration of the Soviet Union, China and Ukraine once had extensive military cooperation, and introduced a lot of weapons and equipment and military technology from the Soviet era, including aviation technology. Every time the Antonov-225 came to China, some netizens suggested that China should buy the Antonov-225 and even introduce the production technology of this heavy transport aircraft to resume the construction of the Antonov-225. Now the only Antonov-225 has been destroyed, and both Ukraine and Russia are unable to repair it. The idea of repairing or even rebuilding the Antonov-225 by China has been proposed by netizens again. Since China can repair a ship the size of the aircraft carrier Varig, it should be easier to repair a plane, right? Just a few years ago, there were rumors in China that a company imported Antonov-225 production lines and drawings from Ukraine, acquired Antonov, and even built a factory in China to produce Antonov-225.